What if I told you that 5,000 years ago, 100 babies were born, not from a womb, but from jars? Gandhari, queen of Hastinapura, was pregnant for two years. But when she finally gave birth, there was no baby, just a lump of lifeless flesh. Everyone was horrified until Sage Vyasa arrived. He took that flesh, cut it into 100 pieces, and placed each into a separate jar filled with ghee. Like some ancient laboratory, those jars were sealed and hidden away. Months later, 100, sons and a daughter were born, the Korobus, not from a womb, but from jars. Today, we call it IVF, in vitro fertilization, life created outside the body. Scientists split embryos, nurture them in labs, even clone animals from a single cell. In 1996, we cloned Dolly the sheep. From one cell, an entire being was born. What if this story from thousands of years ago wasn't myth, but ancient science? Did the Mahabharata predict IVF? Or did our ancestors know far more than we think? Maybe the lines between mythology and modern science were never that far apart. Follow for more ancient stories that science is just beginning to catch up with.